As a blues music fan and as a, a journalist who covers the beat, what do you find compelling about this gathering? You know, what, what brings you from Mississippi here? Well, it's rare when several piano players get together. There's usually one, and there's usually one piano, and there's usually one piano player. Um, it's really rare to get uh, three guys together, and it's, it's incredible to get three guys together that are this legendary. Um, these are the last of the great blues piano players. Okay, y'all want to say anything into the uh, camera here real quick? Pine Top, are you enjoying your time here? You enjoying your time? No. He played great last night. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Henry, what about you? Oh, yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. What do you think about uh, Mr. Dixon over here? Is he all that? Oh, yeah. Right. What, are you all that? Oh, yeah, I'm all here. See, y'all in the bag of, in the bag of yeah. chips. You want to thank like, uh, Johnny Tucker, first of all, foremost, <laughs> for being a friend and for hooking me up with Mr. Floyd Dixon right there. My my compadre, my good friend, and uh, great, yeah, my daddy, huh? Yeah, <laughs> For uh, Kid Ramos right here, I call him the Kid Ramos. For his uh, love of the music and his love of Floyd, I appreciate everything about him, and it's the most humble musician that I've met. And I appreciate that, David. Thanks for having me. I'm you bet, my, man. My great honor, man. More to come. Everybody, give me a look right here on the lens, please. One, two. It is truly an honor to be here tonight amongst these great musicians. Floyd Dixon, one of my heroes. Pine Top Perkins. Henry Gray. And this band here, I'm telling you, these guys are fabulous, man. I mean, you're gonna really enjoy it tonight. I do appreciate it, it is my honor to be here. And without further ado, we will begin the music. Everybody was enthusiastic. Everybody was happy to be there, and the cast of people was exceptional. The blues stuff, it permeates popular music. There's a lot of people that say they know how to play blues, but do you really understand the history and where all this came from? You know, having Larry Taylor and Richard Ennis, these guys know how to play this music. You gotta have the right musicians, you have to have horns, you gotta have all the stuff that made those records that Floyd made in the 50s so great. I think I'm a fan of the music first. I would read about all these different people and what influences they had, you know, and I'd find out who they listened to. Basically, I, I wanted to learn how to play all that stuff. I was obsessed with it. I would wake up in the morning and play the guitar. I'd go to school and think about guitar. I didn't want to just be a guy sitting around the campfire and strumming a couple of chords. You know, I wanted to really master the guitar.
particular weekend that the gig actually occurred in Phoenix was a real special weekend for me personally because of the man that we were honoring. They called me up, uh, but I refused to play the piano, number one, because he's a piano player. I asked Floyd, do you want me to play? And he said, yeah, man, why don't you play the organ? Floyd Dixon was one of the guys that I really idolized when I was younger, and I really liked his playing, and I liked his songwriting, and his, his singing, and everything. So when I had the opportunity to play in Phoenix, or even be in the same room, let alone play with him, I was real excited. Started playing in the 50s, listened to the music. Back then, all the records, I used to buy 78s, 45s of all the different artists in the 50s. You know, Fats Dono, Little Richard, uh, and then I got into the blues, you know, like uh, Elmore James. <laughs> All of a sudden, the kid mentioned this, us to do this with Floyd, and of course, man, I always wanted to play with people yeah. like him, and I never did. I never got to it up till then. Right. And it was phenomenal. When he told me it was Floyd Dixon, I went, wow, man. <laughs> Ended up going to Phoenix and doing it, and I was thrilled and honored to be there and to be a part of it. in about the third grade and I had a girlfriend. So I go over there and she goes, hey, here's a 45 my sister's got. It's called by a guy named Little Richard. She put it on. I just looked at the record and my mouth opened and I just went, that's me. I go, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> what I really loved, what moved me was, was stone R&B, black music. At the time, white people were, weren't doing it, so I got the opportunity to play with all the guys that ended up in L.A., and there was a bunch of them. Big Joe Turner, Big Mama Thornton, George Smith, Pee Wee Creighton, Roy Milton, Percy Mayfield, on and on. Blues, in particular, is a language. People learn the language as a separate entity and then they bring it together in a syn synergistic way so that you get to hear the individual sounds of each player, but as a whole, they make a statement together. Mutual respect, mutual love for each other, and especially mutual admiration for the music. Mm -hmm. 